All right. Let's get to it. Our interview of the evening going down right now. You know what I'm saying? And we're over here at our new spot. This is um, our first interview in a new spot. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's, 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 it's a good look, you know what I mean, to have this gentleman in the building here with us. And, you know, we've been watching your music videos, especially on our on our top six music video list. Like, you've been popping up regular, regular, you know what I'm saying? Um, last week, actually, one of your videos and a track that you were featured on were, like, back to back. I hit him up. And you know I love to double every single car. Girl, my cuisine on the... Word. So that's a good look. Yeah. So with no further ado, we have Flash Miller in the motherfucking building. Uh, uh. And, and thank you for coming through, brother. You know what I'm saying? No doubt. Um, and and you got you got you, you, the homies are here with you. If you, y'all want to introduce yourself, quick, fast. We got Trigger right here. Okay. We got Blacks right here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Trigger and Blacks. Yes. Yeah, yes. Dope. Yes. Yes. So you know, outside's been back open. You know what I'm saying? Or at least relatively back open. You know, people are going back to the clubs, all types of stuff. Yeah. With the music and everything like that, like now that like this is on the, like here, what are some of the plans that you've had so far? You know what I'm saying? Yo, for me, basically, my I like. We in the underworld right here, so we was mm-hmm. always open, right? We was always making <laughs> moves right here, you know. We was always doing the same shit, making music studios for us. We was always in the studio. We yeah. got studios. You know what I mean, mm-hmm. we got clubs. We was always partying. We was doing the same shit. And now it's like basically it's for shit to really fully open where they're gonna allow like performances and stuff. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So like, yeah, like that's really gonna be like the biggest game changer is that performing. You already know as an artist, performing is a big. That's a big budget cut when you can't do that Fuck. you know what i'm saying yeah so, so yeah hopefully they could get shit back on and popping stop with this covid bullshit and we could start performing and making some paper you know yeah because i seen a, um, a clip on youtube of you performing um and like the girls were going crazy in the front like you're pouring hennessy in the girls mouth and stuff like that oh yeah you remember that performance i'm talking about damn right yeah. so <laughs> that's what, what we could we could expect from performances from flash miller man i'm all over the place man you know what i'm saying okay performances, i think performances even later in the music you know mm-hmm. you'll be jumping around turning up splashing liquor and shit like yo everybody's like get wet like get your hands <laughs> up <laughs> you know, all that shit yeah 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 we get lit man turn up man so so rock star style you know what i'm saying get wasted make sure everybody party okay so would you say that like that is like more like what you would describe your music as like a like a rock style like a lifestyle type of music oh the music is different yo the music yo like it's like it's like i try more like of the newer stuff because everything that's been released so far is, is super old mm. you know what i'm saying once i got signed to more jelly music they took everything that was on and they that i had already and they just released all the stuff i had and even some stuff i already had out re-released it so all that shit is old shit y'all just now getting the new shit okay we've only just started shooting videos all those videos before were old videos that i independently did by myself yeah and, like, put together you know so that shit, like, people is feeling that shit. But so when we get to the new shit, it's gonna be way, way sicker, way different shit, way better visuals, better sound. Nice. Beats engineer, all of that shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you see Margella music, so like, that's like an independent label and stuff that you signed to? Yeah, well, like, they fuck with Believe Canada, you know? So like, okay. it's all authentic shit. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, making big moves right now, like, shooting big videos, like, $50,000 videos and shit. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. just pull up, you know, like they, they got everything ready for me. Got all the women already ready, the models and shit. You know what I'm saying? Fucking, I get there to be like 12 models there. We got catered food already ready. We got, it's like real shit. Like, yo, I, I already worked like in movie scenes and like, you know what I mean? Extras, main roles, commercials and photo shoots. So I'm familiar with like what the set's like. Yeah. Like now fucking with more each other music group, the video is like more like a, like a s- actual set where there's like 10 directors and executive producers and shit around you, making sure behind mm. the scenes, on, the, on camera footage. Professional the shit. Footage, just professional, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, that's dope, man, because- that's very big. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. we were watching the video, the Medusa video on the, the, the top six. Crazy. Addicted to hoes, money always on my mind, mind always on my dough. 
my spot. Yeah. Respect. I appreciate that. Crazy man. video. Yeah, man. Like, how do y'all come? Did you come up with the concept, or did you just come through and everything was like boom, ready to yo, go? Yo, the song. Yo, I can't. I'm not gonna lie. Kid. I came through and everything was boom, ready to go. But mm -hmm. I, even though it was ready to go, I I did that shit in my song. My songs are self-explanatory. They just paint a whole story. I had the same vision, regardless. To be yeah. honest. Because that's the story the song told. You know what I'm saying? So all you have to do is listen to the song and and, free, and put together a visual for what I'm saying. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Is it gonna it be almost seem like on the time when it was the song was the two and three, right? That's what it was. It was mm -hmm. two mm -hmm. and three. It seemed like the song was a continuation. Mm -hmm. The song you were featured on yeah. was a continuation from Medusa, or was it well, vice versa? Where it was like the, there's like a morning after, or like. It, was, it wasn't necessarily a continuation, but it was just to show that, that we all, it's all love. We all connected. We all won. It's all one brand. Like, you know, mm -hmm. so okay. fucking, you see me supporting Swampy in my video. That's my brother. That's my nigga. I fuck with him. He went, I went, I went, he went. So my video, I'm supporting him. His video, he's supporting me. You see yeah, pictures yeah. of me in his video, or I'm in it, or the song. Macau, the next guy on the label, both of our songs, the videos in the background of his shit. So it's like 360 all around the board, like, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Why the fuck not? And then all of us attack a, dish, a different demographic. So it's like, if we all have unity, something that these people are lacking nowadays, you know what I'm saying? Facts. If we keep it real, and we all have unity and we all support each other, yo, we could take it to somewhere that, yo, most of these niggas ain't never been. Mm -hmm. 100%. No, you're it's right. a gem right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, so even like, you mentioning collabos and stuff like that like you got a video like with k money from back in 2018. yeah you know what i'm saying so how did that come together yo you know I, I'm, I'm gonna shout out amsterdam right now yo amsterdam shout out my nigga you know because mm -hmm. yo to be honest yo that song I, I was already like yo amsterdam was a real one he gave me like he seen the potential and he's like yo damn i can't believe this nigga ain't already like like Popping like yo, it's for real, nigga. You're not signed, and I do it. What the fuck? He's like, nah, nah I can't. He's like, yo, listen. He's, he had a whole program going on. It, was, it kind of remind me of um, kind of remind me of that metalworks type of program where it's okay. like he was kind of doing a, a, a teaching institution type of thing. Okay, people were coming there to learn, you know. And Sick. like he, so there, there's like producers, photographers, videographers, engineers, everything. So yo, basically, he would have sessions for me where like he'd give me like free time. Like, have an engineer in there. One's showing me all the beats. One's in the corner with headphones making beats. Another one's videotaping the whole shit. Mm -hmm. Another guy's, so whoever's there for, to, for school and for videography, he'd be videotaping the words for photography, be taking pictures mm -hmm. and write, same shit for all around the board, you know? Yeah. Every person there is working on that. So they're all working on me at the same time in the room. That's the first time I had a whole team of people Everyone's doing something productive and constructive. Yeah. By the time I'm done making a the song, there's another beat done. I put a headphones on. Oh, yo, throw that shit on right now, you know? Yeah. So, yo, the one I was working on was Drip. And to be honest, I had two verses on that, and, and I and I crushed that shit, and, and it was already lit. And I was like, this guy comes in Amsterdam, he's like, yo, this is, the, if we put a feature on this, like, nigga, fuck a feature, nigga. Like, yo, I already killed that shit. What are you talking about, mm. yo? Like, what do you mean a feature? You didn't hear that shit? He's like, yeah, but that's what I'm Disrespect. trying to say. Yeah. That's my point, yo. If we put a, a feature, I'm like, yo, who? He said, well, okay, K-Money. I'm like, oh, yo, I fuck with that. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, I, that's I, not I a bad idea. That. Okay. That's not, yo, that's not, yo, that's not, yo, that's not, like, yeah. I would have let you know, nah, that doesn't fly, fam. But yo, I'm that's like, a good yo, idea. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, yeah, I fuck with that nigga still, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So but from then we started talking to him. Yeah, you know what I mean? Talked to that nigga on the phone for like two hours prior to the song. It's built a vibe with the nigga. The nigga is a real one, you know? So fuck, yo. Yo. Went to the studio, dropped that shit. It was fire, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, that nigga verse, I just put it first. I'm like, fuck, nigga. And I'll put my verse second. Yeah. I already had the hooks on it. Yo, you cool nigga linked up for the video and shit. We were already on a wave vibing. So that's why the visuals came out like that. Like, mm -hmm. I could tell. You, you could see we were vibing, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, like, yeah, yeah. That's a drip right there. No, that's, that's fire. That's fire. Yeah. Yeah, man. Um, let's go back a little bit, yo, before the rapping and stuff like that, all right? Like you, um, from like for we were taking in from the lyrics or like just from um, you know research and stuff like that. You represent you repping like the West End, like Saga, them them ends, right? And Brampton, my nigga. Brampton, B town for the W. The Brampton, yo, Brampton, my nigga. Can I please get a water? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. Boom. PK haircut. I'll take that one. Give me that water. No, All right, one more. Yeah, All right, yeah, cool. Yeah. That one's room temperature, though. Why? Did you just say that one's cold? It's a little cooler, yeah. 
<laughs> okay, okay, PK oh, Herc in the clutch. Right, right. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Man. So B Town, because you know, B Town is like polarizing. People are like, and let me, ch- there's people who love it and then there's people who fucking hate on it. Okay, so tell me about your Brampton experience. Oh shit, hold on. Can I make this feel at home right here a little bit more? Cause you're of like, course. Yeah, you're gonna make this, hold on, hold this to me for a second. You're gonna make this at home right here. I'm gonna feel like shit. And you're like, there we go, cause you're like, Bring out the any, bring out the, uh, yo, uh, hold on, let me get some sound effects in here. You know I live in a strip club, right? So let me just, that's my home. Let me just, let me get, let me get that. Uh, let me go, we home, we the home. US <laughs> ones. I'm gonna say, let me go, we home, we strip club, let me go. All we missing is the bitches, you know? It's all we missing is some bitches right now, but I not, know not, not, good, not feel comfortable. I feel relaxed. What's now, missing? You know? got me inspired now, fam. Yeah, oh, nah, see, nah, nah. Gucci. Anything uh, missing? Get my eyes right on right right you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Feel at home right now. It's, Gucci. It's, it's, his name is Flash for a reason. Jeez. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, dude. You, you can't hear the sound effects, but it's your, your air horns going off. Yeah, this is a wheel of the first. It's it definitely we love hip hop first. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna have to take a picture of that with the phone hey. later. Holy! Yeah, yo, I'm ready, man. Okay, so Brampton bad, life. Sorry, Brampton life. Yeah. Yo. What, what was life like growing up for you in Brampton? What was the family dynamic like? You know, and all that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Man, Before was, you got into the rap. Yo, it was the same shit as every other hood. The niggas was downplaying Brampton from the start, but look, this nigga from Brampton, this nigga from Brampton, mm-hmm. a lot of a lot of real niggas from Brampton. A lot of real shit happened. This nigga, when we was like fucking 12, this nigga's house got shot up. Bullets Holy. through the front door, came out the fucking back door. We was like, what, grades eight? Grade seven, eight, nine, maybe? I don't know. I like That's crazy. Like, so my bad, it. nigga, but I got I don't know. Nigga, it's really fun. So niggas don't know. They think it's a joke. They think, nigga, how old are we? We were fucking kids, bro. You know what I'm saying? And what was going on in them times? Bloods and Crips. You know what I'm saying? Just like fucking everywhere mm-hmm. else at that time. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yo, oh, so what is, what is it with that? Like they're already doing racial racial profiling from, from over there long from, time, from long fam. time. Everything was we, we, we was doing everything with father and family was, was jumping. Eye contact alone. Mm. Like, eye contact alone, you get dried up. <laughs> Jump out on an eye contact. <laughs> eye contact Carding. in your jaw. Brand no deal, peel. Yeah. Yeah. Brampton. Boy, fuck peels. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no deal, peel, fam. Just the oh. thoughts. Brampton's and then the Maltin is still one. It's all together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's all, yo, then all the niggas. The thing about Brampton and people like misunderstand is that ain't nobody from Brampton. Who the fuck was born? Hardly no. Now the new generation, yeah, but and from our time, we started this shit. No, nobody no born in Brampton. We all came from somewhere else or somewhere mm-hmm. else. And we brought the badness from wherever the fuck we came now. And then on, on whatever days, weekends, when we call the rest of our people and they come down. And then, so Brampton's like a stomping grounds for fuckery because everybody came from everywhere else now, from every hood. It doesn't matter where, from Jane Finch, from fucking Rexdale, from fucking Scarborough, I don't care, Flemo region, wherever the fuck you from. Yeah. And they came where? To Brampton. No, you're right. So like, Brampton is one of the most dangerous spots. So don't, don't watch that. That's why where talent comes out of there. That's why enough people, you know what I mean? Like, this goes on. Like, Lisa Cara, fucking Grammy winner, Tory Lanez, Facts. fucking yo, Keisha Shante, fucking Tristan Thompson, <sighs> fucking Flash Miller, my nigga. Fuck wrong with y'all niggas, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm yo. saying? We up, man. Come on, Peel. You know, deal, Peel. Start so, the city. Okay, so when you're here, obviously, like, we all know the demographics or, or the geography of Toronto, right? Or, or the GTA. So when you go abroad, is it, do you have to explain Brampton to people? Like, Never that. Yo, my fucking aura is self-explanatory, B. Mm. Like from day one, from before they even knew niggas. <laughs> if people was like, we from Brampton. I'm like, oh my God, I never knew niggas like you were in Brampton. I'm like, what? What are you talking about? No, because like I'm saying like for like an American, they're always just like, well, Toronto, they don't even know, no, they don't even fucking know much y'all, my G. You know what I'm saying? So it's hard sometimes to explain to them like- But in that case, I would still just say Toronto because it's the greater Toronto area. At the mm-hmm. same time, Brampton's what, 20 minutes, 30 minutes from Toronto, like the fuck? And like I said, everybody from Brampton's from Toronto. So I was still from Toronto, this nigga's still from Facts. Scarborough, Toronto, this nigga's still from Toronto. So at the end of the day, you know, if I go to America now, just so they're familiar with the general area, Toronto, we in Toronto right now doing this interview. So it's yeah, like, yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? My studio in Toronto, my, my everything, all the video I shoot in Toronto, I party in Toronto. Everything I fucking do is in Toronto. Mm-hmm. Family in Toronto, grew up in Toronto. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Real shit. So it's like- yeah. Facts, that's the truth. Yeah. Even when I moved from Toronto to the B, Still, still in fucking Toronto. Toronto. Yeah, man. That's mm-hmm. a true thing. A Every true thing. day. You know what I'm saying? With the Toronto niggas. You know what I mean? So it's like, 
And yeah, the same shit I was going on there was going in in fucking Brampton. So niggas and in Malton and in Mississauga. Mm. You know what I mean? No, it's facts. Yeah, yeah. So even like, and last thing on the Brampton thing, right? Why do you think, like, it's not as crazy as before. Remember, they used to have a lot of posts on social media, Brampton man, they do this and that. Why do you yeah. think that Brampton gets hate? And I've asked other um, artists who came from Brampton. Why are they on the map, bro? Why do we keep hearing that name? Why is such a small place? Why you keep hearing? Why you keep hearing that name, bro? Mm. You know what I'm saying, yo? Because yo, you keep winning, bro. Like I said, Tory Lanez is from there. Alyssa Carr is from there. Let's go down. Alyssa keep Carr, again. I forgot about her Every too. Inch, that's a huge fucking name. Alyssa Carr is no joke. And the nigga kingdom niggas are looking at niggas. Fuck the nigga kingdom. Alyssa Carr is worldwide, my nigga. That's global, Facts. my nigga. She mm-hmm. won Grammys. What are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? So it's like the fact that even if you look at soccer teams, the national soccer team, national Canadian soccer team, a lot of them are from Brampton. Same thing with the basketball national, the Canadian team and shit. So it's like when you look at it, this small town, you don't, you don't care how much time you hear about Hamilton, how much time you hear about Burlington, how much time you hear about Bradford, how much time you hear about any of these it's other Oldville, yeah. any of those other small towns. It's not but lying. yeah, Brampton keeps going to Brampton. There's something different about our water, my nigga. Say, yeah. Yo, stop hating, <laughs> my nigga. We do this. And the Peel Boys, the Saga Boys swag is too much for y'all, man. We we are some P.I. shit. The Saga Boys swag is just too pretty for these niggas. These niggas mm. dirty. We, we clean, my nigga. We come through <laughs> clean, my nigga, like some movie star shit. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like, start hating on the West Side, man. We do our thing out here, B. Well, listen, we, we got nothing but love for the West Side. You know, know what I'm saying? I like okay, so even with... um Gucci know about the West Side. Gucci, <laughs> tell them, my G. Why you over there all quiet and shit, my G? Tell them about the West Side, G. <laughs> yeah, Yo, you know how the West Side get, man. You know what I mean? The West Coast is always late, you feel me? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> But the one thing about the East Coast, they had to the gal them, you know what I mean? But we had to bring the gal them to the West Side, you know what I mean? Don't lie. The West, has more the West gal Side gal has gal. the West Side has more gal Sam. So Don't gal our quality? <laughs> Come on. The, the, now the East, the East thing had the freak things. I'm not gonna lie. Like oh. the magic thing, if you want a magic thing. <laughs> But yo, I would in saw that bad and bougie bitch coming. No, that's, that's, come that's what I was gonna say. That's exactly what I would in Saga City. I would in Saga City. We got those the bad and bougie. We got the high class. 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 Jay goes to the bottom when she's leaving. She's gonna bring you one. Every yeah, fucking yeah. nugget gonna be in the bag after you yeah, leave. After shit, she leave. Man. <laughs> oh man, no, no, real Facts. shit, man. No, Facts. but listen, even with y'all, cause like I see the music and I see like the videos and how, how much like effort is being put into it, right? Yeah. What are one of your biggest goals when it comes to this music business? Like in the, like, let's say in the next five years. Holy shit, that's a, that's a crazy question, fam. Cause yo, I have many goals, yo. I'm just trying to, I want to be like worldwide. Mm-hmm. And people like, yo, like, it's like right now, there's like so much music that I imagine in my head that I want to make, but I, I can't really make it for whatever reason, like restriction on like, maybe I don't know the producer that could create that type of beat. Or like, I mean, whatever it is, the resource, it might be a little more limited than it could be. So mm-hmm. maybe like at the max potential, it'll be max resources and I'll be able to like max the, the, the ideas that I have and bringing them to like actual reality. So it's like, I just want to see like, yo, you know what I mean? I just seen like the fucking world and loud shit. That shit. Huge. Crazy as fuck. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To, to, to go on stage and not have to say a word. Everybody know you all your shit. just drop the mic and just like, let's say, oh, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That, that right there, that's, that's, that's when you know. That's when you know, like, nigga, I, I, I did it, nigga. You nigga, know what we saying? made it. Nigga, we made it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, like, lying. yeah. Like, what else? Like, what else can you see? Because like you, you said you came from the acting and all that too. So like, is that in the future? Like, oh yeah, most definitely. You know what I'm saying? It's just like like something like Pac and like Pop Smoke, Fifty Cent. You know what I'm saying? Certain niggas, their characters, it's just like like it's overwhelming. That big character, you could tell that they they could do more. They're destined for just more than just music. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And so yeah, I feel like I'm one. Of, I don't feel like I know that I'm one of those people that like yo. You know what I'm saying? From the music, once my character gets to be seen and people get to it gets to show. Yeah, I'm definitely doing some movies for sure. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. When like, I know like as an artist or as a past artist, right? I've had moments or even sometimes with this podcasting shit, right? Yeah. Where you're like, fuck, 
I don't know if I, how much, you know, you get like, you don't, you lose the inspiration. You know what I mean? You, you get down where you're like, fuck, I don't know if I want to do this shit anymore. You ever mm. get that shit with music? One and two, if you do, how do you get yourself out of it? How do you remotivate yourself? That probably wasn't gonna happen to everyone, so I'm not really gonna say it doesn't happen, but like it doesn't really happen to me frequently, to be honest. So like, yo, I'm like super, like I super motivated and I know, like I more than believe, like I know what I'm capable of mm -hmm. and, I, and I see what everybody else who's at the top is doing. So it's like, once you truly believe that like, yo, you could do that or better, why would you ever stop? Facts, facts, facts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you got anything for shoot? No, I was just saying like, so obviously touring is something you want to get back to, performing live and shit like that. Yeah. So Rolling Loud, that would be obviously fucking shit. Yeah, so what yeah, like yeah. Southwest, you have any plans on like shows you want to do? Like, you know, any other than Rolling Loud, any big performances? Any or big performance, fam. Any big performances is a crowd that, especially if they know my shit, I'd rather perform to a crowd that's waiting for me than a crowd that never heard of me, you know? So like, yo. Why is that? Cause the energy will always hit different, you know what I'm saying? Like mm. any performer, they feed off the energy of the crowd. True, that's so true. We're definitely gonna fight against it. If there is no energy, you're gonna pull through and do what you gotta do if you're a real performer. But that's such a bonus when the crowd is vibing with your shit. You could almost like become like invincible with the energy, you just start floating on that shit. So it's like, yo, everything nice. just flows on its own after that, you know? Yeah, that makes sense. For sure. Yeah. And what about like your recording process and stuff like that? Like, because I see that like, the songs are big, right? So do you go in like with a plan or is it like a freestyle and you like you just go off of whatever the beat? Yeah, 99% of the time it's a freestyle. Okay. I go I go based off the, the vibe of the beat. Like the beat, I just look for a beat until I find a beat that like, like, cause I'm just like basically like interpreting what the beat's saying, you know? Mm -hmm. So when, once I find a beat that I relate to, but I know I can interpret it well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, most yeah. of the time I'm set. I'm drinking, I'm just pacing, and I'm just thinking of lines. And it's like, as I'm thinking of it, I just start recording. Mm -hmm. If I run out, I stop. It's like a freestyle. So it just keeps on flowing type of thing. Yeah. How many tracks do you record in a night? You just one track, two tracks, or nah, however probably, the vibe feels? Like? However the vibe feels. Mostly it's probably like an average of three songs. But wow. there's times I go to the studio, depending. Like if one of my niggas call me to the studio, he wants me to do a feature. I'm not gonna go there and do three songs really because I can't let it get no, for home, sure. you know? But once my own session and I'm cooling, I do like an easy three songs at least. Nice. Wow, wow. wow. That's wow. a good work ethic. Even Respect. like with the city, right? It's such a crazy city when it comes to like doing collabos and you're already like familiar with doing collabos with people, right? Yeah. What do you think is one of the things that our city needs to do to take it to the next level? Because we got a lot of talent Brampton, all over the fucking GTA got mad talent. Right. But what is, what's missing for us to get the whole city to the next level? Even just, even yourself, along with everybody else. Well, yo, well, it'd be easy to say, like I said earlier, unity, because with unity, everybody that has a different aspect of the game could become one mm -hmm. and together have all aspects, right? It'd only be bigger for everybody. And people have this mentality that there's not enough room or there's not enough money or there's none of that. That's an illusion. That doesn't make no sense. There's way more than enough room and money for, for everybody facts. to get abundance of it. And when everyone does, it'll make everyone else's money that has it increase. It'll only go more facts. from it. So if you make everyone around you eat, you're going to eat more at the end of the day. So I don't understand why everybody in the city, whether it's in the streets or in the music, that's why I say the rap game remind me of the crack game because mm. it's the same niggas with the same attitude. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's, Give me, give me, give me, push, push, push. Like Pac said, that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like everyone's trying to grab, but if you like share it and come up, yeah, you know I mean, it'll be more. Yeah. Are you dropping some jewels here today, fam? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, 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 the jewelry store is open today, fam. Yeah. Yeah, 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 no, no, the people need that, man. Um, especially like, you know, a lot of young artists coming up, they're looking, they're looking at the music videos that you got and stuff like that. They're like, fuck. I want to get there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But they don't realize that you're still on your grind trying to get to another level. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, okay, um, what do you think is one problem with the, our city when it comes to the music game? Like one thing that you would that you would change if you could right now? Fuck, if I could change something, fuck. 
yo, I don't know still. Cause yo, that's like, it's like the obvious question to say, obviously like the, the sections, every, every hood is gonna claim their set. Every set's gonna feel like they gotta rep the hood. Even if they don't know how the shit started, they're gonna, you know, they're gonna, we're gonna bang out. It's like, I might be trying to be that biased person and say that, cause that's what it is everywhere. Yeah. That's what it is in, in fucking New York. That's what it is in Chicago. That's what it is in, that's what it is. You're gonna ride out, so we on some G shit. It's the underworld, that's what you're gonna do. So like, I don't know, I guess like, maybe, but then the street shit come with the music shit. So mm-hmm. like, I don't really have the answer to that question, to be honest. That's cool, that's cool. <laughs> yo, yo, Flash. Um, I have one for you. What are you saying, you see how you keep going and like, you know, people see you and look it up to you like you're dripped out. You, you have this amazing music videos. Like what been the hardest part of music so far in your life? The that hardest part kept, of music? Yeah. Like what been the hardest part of the music in your life so far? Fuck. That made you want to almost want to give up, but you, you just keep pushing. Like, you know what people want to know? Like, what give you that drive to keep pushing? What been the hardest part of music? Yo, it'd probably be like the grind, to be honest. But like, that's the hardest part from of my music story. Everybody, I couldn't say the hardest part of music in general because I'm not everybody else. Mm-hmm. So I don't know what there. But my hardest part is is the grind. You know what I'm saying like the consistency. Like it's like it's easy to get like to the top or it's to get paper or it's to get some drip. But can you stay at the top? Mm-hmm. Can you stay getting paper? You can stay getting drip. You, you're going to pay that that mortgage and still pay for that whip and still pay for that. Where you going, or are you going to be done after that? You know what I'm saying? Are like you going to go out and buy a couple bottles and then you can't go back out next week? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, enough, enough of these niggas, they're like pretenders. Like, they capture that one moment. You know what I'm saying? But that's why, like, on my story, it says, yeah, I mean, some people get mad and shit, but that's why I keep showing this shit because I didn't do this shit just yesterday and then I can't do it again tomorrow. Mm. You know what I'm saying? We do this shit every day. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's like, when I see certain niggas faking it, sometimes it's kind of annoying. These niggas are like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, cause that shit not easy, bro. When I mean, you're trying to, I mean, everyone raps about the glamorous parts of trapping and shit, but yo, right. these bitches is acting up and niggas is catching charges that they're not even supposed to be catching and when the white them is following you cause they're selling that flag, you know what I'm saying? All this shit, you know what I mean? You have fuck, you're fucking paranoid all the fucking time and shit. And these ain't really like, paying attention to that part you know mm-hmm. so like that that's that's the hardest part what about when like people um because you know you got videos that have a hundred thousand plus views like a few of them yeah so people must stop you in, on road like yo flash miller yo i seen your video or yo, I, I love your tune yeah what's those interactions like you know what i'm saying because i know for us like as niggas like you know street niggas are like former street niggas it's not like that's exactly it's, it's not always the most comfortable thing, thing you know what i mean but yeah. you know we, we deal with it and we, and it's always it's always all love what's what's it like for you yes yeah, so i was always more more times it's all love you know more times people recognize you know especially when you go with t when you're in the city in toronto there's a lot of artists out here a lot of traffic you know what i'm saying sometimes it's, it's hard to see a car when there's so many cars going by fast but like ot and shit it's a little slower mm-hmm. so you get a little more time to so you go out there sometimes you don't even realize how big you got yeah you stand out more you don't even realize how big you got sometimes yep. so you go till you leave your city and then you leave your city and people are going oh my god you're like holy shit how do you know me out here <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> can't go in no OT spots. It's done. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's life changes <laughs> when people start knowing you as a rapper, fam. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Trust me, man. So even like for the future now, like, you know, we're in 2021. We're like halfway through, right? What you got planned for like the rest of the year, like going into 2022? I just trying to make more music, more money, and more productive moves. You know what I'm saying? We just want just want more and everything is trying to turn it up. Mm. Trying to turn it up and get this fucking pandemic shit out of here. Facto, yeah. Get this shit. I don't give a fuck what you heard. Fuck this bullshit. Get that shit out of here. Like, let's <laughs> get on with fucking life. Let's get this money. Yeah, I'm man. Can pass the lighter, please? We got Flash Miller in the motherfucking nice. building, man. Yeah, man. He's dropping gems, too, for you guys. Yeah, man. Jewelry stores all the way open today, right. fam. 